Today I fucked up by kissing my boyfriend which resulted in him ending up in the ER. Yeah. So this happened about 5 hours ago. It was definitely not funny when it happened but it's a little bit more amusing now so my boyfriend encouraged me to share this on here lol. Basically, we ordered takeout from our local Thai food place for lunch. I got a shrimp pad thai and my bf got a chicken fried rice. He has hated shellfish with a passion since he was young. Apparently watching a lobster get boiled when he was about 6 to 7 years old sealed the deal for him, even though he's never tried eating any kind of shellfish before. Now here's the fuck up. About 10 minutes after we finished eating, we start getting a little frisky and begin making out. It's going good you know smile, but suddenly he pulls back and says that his lip is tingling. Now at first, I did not take this as a bad thing. Lip tingling after a good makeout sounds like a good time to me. But he starts saying that his lips are actually burning like hell. I go to get some ice for him. But when I come back his lips are literally swollen to the point where his top lip is blocking his nostrils. At this point, I'm pretty much freaking out so I quickly drive him to the ER. Come to find out, my BF has a really bad allergy to shellfish. Too long didn't read, BF hates shellfish, has never tried it. I ate a shrimp dish. We kissed afterwards and he had a pretty bad allergic reaction. Turns out he is very allergic to shellfish. Macron backslash underscore backslash underscore slash Macron. Edit, he and I appreciate the awards on this ha ha. That would freak the shit out of me. My husband and I have to be careful when he eats peanuts. He just pretty much doesn't because he is freaked something like this will happen to me. Exclamation mark. I've actually heard that you can develop a severe allergy to something if you're never exposed to it. I had an early sensitivity to some fruits, they made my lips and tongue a little puffy and made me itch like crazy, but never anything life threatening. My pediatrician evidently told my mom to give me small amounts of those fruits as often as possible to get me used to them. I'm now 24 and can eat them all without incident. Not exactly sure how or why it worked. This reminds me of a scene from X-Men, 2000. I used to hate tomatoes since I was a kid. But for no particular reason, later due to heel problem, I took a food allergy test, and found out I was allergic to tomato the whole time. LOL. I'm starting to think there's a sixth sense for allergies lol. Word to the wise, be prepared to read a lot of ingredient lists. Shellfish aren't quite as widespread as other allergens, but you'd be surprised where they might show up. Obligatory edit for appreciation of fine metals. Today I fucked up by getting too spicy in the kitchen, and in the bathroom. Obligatory this happened a while back cause yes, this wasn't actually today. So I, 22F, Decided to make some Thai curry for my BF, 24M, and I's dinner. Decided to use some real hot hot peppers for this recipe. Him and I love spicy food so this would be a very welcome heat. Like a complete buffoon I decide not to wear gloves while handling these plants from Satan's personal garden. Dinner is delicious and we both enjoy it despite some runny noses. The problem comes later when I decide to use the bathroom. I was on my period and I use a menstrual cup to help deal with that as opposed to tampons. For those who don't know what a menstrual cup is, it's basically a small silicone cup to have to stick up in your woo-ha and you can take and out and dump it when it gets full. Also no I'm not sorry for that mental image you have now, you clicked on the NSFW post. So I'm using the bathroom and I need to dump my cup. As I go and spelunking in there to look for this thing I start to feel a tingle. That's when I realize, I didn't wash my hands after handling the peppers. My boyfriend hears a scream from the bathroom as I scramble to turn the cold water on in the shower. I strip off my clothes, 
and Nell in the bath trying desperately to splash my burning genitals. BF can only watch as I pathetically whimper and it takes about 30 minutes total for the burning to stop. Lesson learned, we bought cooking gloves and I always wash my hands with dish soap after handling spicy food. Too long didn't read, after handling hot peppers while cooking I forgot to wash my hands. Proceeded to change my menstrual cup and burn the ever loving hell out of the inside of my vagina. Update, wow oh wow. I take a responsibly long nap in the middle of the day and this post is hot hot hot, much like I was. Thank you all for your updates and comments. Glad to hear I'm not the only one who's been personally victimized by hot peppers. For those who have given me awards thank you as well, I appreciate that. Also apparently silicon and silicone are very different things, the more you know huh, correction made. I oh no when I read didn't wear gloves but then when I read the bathroom section I was like oh no. My wife is cringing in pain from hearing that, smiley face, yeah. Hopefully she'll learn from my mistakes. Kitchen gloves are a necessity. I cut up about 30 pounds of hot peppers to make pickled peppers one year. I spent hours cleaning and deseeding and cutting and canning. About an hour after my last jar was complete, my hands started burning and turning bright red. I had second degree chemical burns and ended up at the hospital. It was very painful and now I'm left with a mild allergy to hot peppers. I have to wear gardening gloves to pick them and latex gloves to even handle the pepper itself. Oh no. I know firsthand how much this one hurts. A few years ago we were making salsa and my partner didn't wash his hands well enough after cutting jalapenos. He got frisky later and popped his hand in my pants. For a few seconds I noticed the tingling and we both stopped and realized what he had done. I ran to the bathroom in agony. We poured milk on it, yogurt, cornstarch. I've never let him live it down. I wish I had thought of using dairy. Did the cornstarch help? I've never heard of using that before. I was all prepared for a chilly willy story, but this actually sent a shiver up my spine. Lol this one was a more a fire vagina story. And here I thought it was bad the time I took my contacts out after cutting up a jalapeno. Spicy food really does just hate us. Today I fucked up by trying to make Christmas a curse word. Though so this happened yesterday and not today. Anyway, my 11 year old is excited for Christmas and already has her wish list and everything. For example, I told her she should pick out music while we wash dishes. She picked out Christmas music. It's not even Halloween yet. As a bit of background since quarantine my daughter and I have gotten progressively more mean with our teases. I try not to say anything that could impact her self esteem but will say things like she sucks at Mario Kart when she gets hit by a turtle shell. On the other hand she teases me for being fat, old, bald and having no friends. My wife frowns at this behavior but my daughter and I think it's funny so we just do it when mom isn't around. Anyway after being tired of hearing about Christmas I told her Christmas is now a curse word until after Thanksgiving. I wasn't really being serious but I was just stressed out and getting annoyed by all the Christmas talk. After I said that she pauses for a second and says Christmas you. I am starting to get tired of getting burned by my daughter. Too long didn't read, I told my daughter Christmas was a curse word so she she cussed at me. This is how my relationship to my stepkids are. I've always been great at twisting their words and taking things literally when they weren't supposed to be. Always quick to make fun of them in a playful way. They've now learned to respond, and I love that they are developing this sharp sense of wit to respond in kind, whilst not being mean. My youngest stepson was getting teased in school because he once said a dress in a catalogue they were browsing for a project looked good. Some time later they were supposed to arrange a ball at their school, and one of the kids asked my stepson if he would be wearing a dress to the occasion, to which my stepson answered I don't have a dress, maybe I can borrow one of yours. His teacher nearly laughed out loud at the quick response. She's the one who told us about the incident at a parent-teacher conference. I want them to grow up respectful, but also able to take some banter and be ready with a quick reply. My husband and I come back with repeating what the other said. Ig, me hey babe can you grab my toothbrush? Him you're a toothbrush. Now my toddler has started doing it. It's time for bedtime. No, or a bedtime. 
put out a one dollar swear jar, let her fund her own presents. I like how your insults are you suck at Mario Kart and hers are directly attacking the appearance and attacking his lack of social life. Get too comfortable feeding the monster and it'll eventually eat you. Honestly this sounds like a such a sweet father-daughter relationship, my dad and I are similarly comfortable with each other and while we may roast each other all day long I can honestly say he's one of my best friends. Also you have a clever kid. When I was like 6 I started calling my dad donut head because he was balding at the top of his head like the hole in a donut. He called me stinky. He still calls me stinky. I am 27. 